Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 79. In the last episode, I started working on 99 prayer. I have all of the bones banked for 98, and I'm going to be doing some more Vorkath to get the rest of the bones that I need for 99. I think it's going to be between sort of 300 to 350 kills. So I might sort of mix up the, the levels in between killing Vorkath rather than doing all of the kills in one go. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Got an elite clue from Vorkath, what can we get? Nothing. And another elite clue? Ooh, Steel Dragon Mask. I definitely don't have that one, so that is a unique, very nice. And another one? Iron Dragon Mask. I think that is also a unique, that's pretty cool. I definitely now have the Bronze, Iron and Steel Mask. And I think there are also Mithril, Adamant, Rune and there's a Lava Dragon Mask to get as well. Well, there we go, another unique at Vorkath, my second dragon bone necklace, which is actually kind of lucky to get another one. I think it's a 1 in 1,000 drop rate, so 2 in 400 kills is uh, pretty lucky, though it isn't very useful. All right, well, that is my 500th Vorkath kill. Uh, I think that's a pretty good place to stop for the time being, and I'll go and use up some of the bones. I do have enough for 98 and well into 98, so might just go and get those levels straight off the bat and see how many more kills I need to do for the rest of 99. And there is 96 prayer, 3 left to go. And that is 97 prayer, 2 left to go. There we go, that is 98 prayer, so 1 left to go. And that does give me 126 combat as well. Finally, max combat, that is really nice to see. Okay, so I am 300k XP away from hitting 99 and I've used up all of my dragon bones. However, I do have these baby dragon bones and big bones in the bank, which if I use those on the Chaos Altar would get me to 99. Obviously, they're worth a lot less XP than the dragon bones and Dagonoth bones that I was using before. But to try and speed that up, what I'm going to do is rather than suiciding after each trip, I'm going to take some tank gear, note them and... Um, that should hopefully mean that it's not too slow. And if I do get PK'd um, and lose some of the bones, it's not the end of the world. I'm not particularly precious about losing these ones compared to the dragon bones. I can always go back to Vorkath, but I figured I've got them, might as well try and use them. All right, so this is what I'm going in with. I think eight brews and a little bit of combo food should be enough. I'm not risking anything that I'm worried about losing, so I will protect the Staff of the Dead, the Serp Helm, and my Odium Ward if I die. I've got all of my player attack options to hidden, so I'm not going to try and fight back. It will just be running south and trying to teleport away. And um, yeah, I'll be taking a few bones at a time, not all of them. And um, yeah, fingers crossed I don't get PK'd. All right, got there in the end. I did end up getting PK'd a couple of times and losing a few hundred big bones, but thankfully had enough in the bank to get me all the way to 99. 15 XP off, so I will bury this big bone. And there we have it, 99 prayer. Definitely gonna pick up the cape. I think I'll probably just end up storing it in the house um, because it's not a particularly useful one. I think it basically just acts as a holy wrench but in my opinion, probably one of the nice looking skill capes and it does have a very cool skill cape emote. And much like 99 Herbal, I feel like this is a pretty cool 99 to get on an Iron Man, considering there is um, yeah, a lot of gathering that you need to do for it. So very pleased with that. I also did mention that I was gonna go through the Vorkath loot. So here it is now. 331 kills in the end. Obviously I was doing it mainly for the bones, but there's some really good resource drops that are going to come in quite handy. The death runes, I wasn't expecting 12,000 death runes. I'm always having to buy those from the shop, so that's going to be pretty handy. Otherwise, um, the dragon bolts are going to be handy as well. I don't know whether to save those for any eventual inferno attempts, but I guess I could use some of those at Sara God Wars as well. That might be quite handy. Plenty of alcables and the two dragon bone necklaces as well. Um, yeah, pretty pleased with all the loot that I got there. I spotted I had three Dark Totems in the bank, so I went ahead and killed Skatizo, and I got three Hard Clues and two Elites. What can we get? Nothing. I uh, think I've got both of those. And I think I've already received a Blue Dragon Mask. And the Elites. Nothing. 
nothing. So I was thinking about what skill I could possibly use as an AFK method of training and I figured fletching wouldn't be a terrible one so I've gone ahead and I bought 360,000 feathers and I already had some arrow shafts in the bank um, so I'll be attaching these together and then spending maybe about 20 mil on them um, buying some broad arrowheads and that would actually be enough for 99 fletching and just something I can chip away at in the background. So I haven't actively trained farming in a really long time but I saw that they recently polled a transmog option for the tangle root pet and it would be really cool to get one of those and I've got a decent stack of uh, fruit and tree seeds uh, in my seed vault so I think I'm going to start getting back into doing uh, tree runs again probably just once a day and um, yeah see if I can have a, a small chance of getting the pet. I have not done a JAD task in a very long time. I've had them unlocked for ages, but I just basically use them as a skip task. I'm always too lazy to do them. That's a new PB actually, 35 minutes. I'll obviously trade in the cape and see if I can get lucky with the pet. Not lucky this time. I think I'll start doing JAD tasks a bit more frequently though. Um, yeah, it's a 35 minute task and a chance of a pet, so why not? And with that XP drop, I have reached 300 million XP overall on the account, which is pretty cool. That is a nice milestone. Picked up a master clue from a hard clue that wasn't really worth recording. Uh, what can we get? Ooh, Samurai Greaves. I think that is my first piece of the Samurai outfit. I will double check. No, it's not. It is my <laughs> it's my third piece. I have the hat and the gloves already. That is pretty cool. I think it is just the top to go then, and I can store that in the house. I got a greater demon task, so I'm back at Zami again, and a god sword shard to start off the uh, the task. I think I'm going to try and get up to 1500 KC, maybe go a little bit higher and see if we can get any drops. Well, there we go. That is another Zami spear. These things are worth an awful lot. I've got like 150 mils worth of spears just in the bank. This might be number 14 for me. Picked up an elite clue from Zami. What can we get? A master clue. Hopefully we can do this. Well, sadly, that is one of the master clue steps that I can't do and not particularly planning on doing any armadillo this episode. So I think I'm just going to have to drop that one. Well, that is my 1500th kill at Zami God Wars. I never thought I would do that many, to be perfectly honest. That is ridiculous. Closing in on three times the drop rate for the hill. Another boss milestone coming in. This is going to be my 4000th cracking kill. Still looking for that last tentacle so I can upgrade my trident. Uh, I may still come back to the boss after I've got that. Um, it's quite chilled out and I quite like the sand fuse that you get here as well. And that is another jar of dirt. I honestly have lost track of how many of these I've received. That could be my ninth one. I think I've got seven in the bank, one in the house, and that would make nine in total. I went to Barrows of all places. Don't ask why. I was a little bit bored and I got an elite clue. Hopefully we can get something good. Oh, it's a mimic. Oh, that's really cool. Um, let's go and do this. I've not done a mimic in a while. See if we can get anything nice from there. Wow, that was actually only my second Mimic ever. I didn't realise I'd only done one previously. I guess that was for the uh, for the music track. All right, let's see what we can get. That is just awful. If I hadn't had the extra death runes there, that would have been literally like a 100k clue. Shocking. Well, my recording messed up, but I did just get a full Trident of the Seas at Kraken, which is always nice to see. Uh, basically just uncharge them for the free death runes. Hey, there we go, another trident. Two in one trip, not had that before. And that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. This episode did take a little longer to get out than I would have liked, but I've uh, just been busy, and to be honest, whilst training uh, 99 Prayer, I did uh, keep rage quitting every time I was getting PK'd. Um, but really nice to knock that one out in this episode and to hit 126 combat as well. That's a really nice milestone. Next episode, I really don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'm happy to take suggestions in the comments for what you guys would be interested in watching. I think probably a little bit of Slayer and Bossing as usual, though God Wars is going to be busy. Everyone's on lockdown at the minute, obviously. So yeah, things like Bandos uh, is going to be a bit tricky. I think Zami will be fine. 
armadillo probably would be okay but um, I'm just thinking about catching those chins in the wilderness might be a bit treacherous we shall see uh, if you enjoyed the video feel free to drop a like and if you want to stay up to date with future videos in the series be sure to subscribe but until next time guys take care